Hello everyone, a hearty welcome to my channel, The Learning Hub Pompa Majumdar. Today we are going to discuss about a very important and interesting topic. The topic is air. Through this lesson, you will be able to know that air is all around us. Properties of air, components of air, uses of air, how air gets dirty or polluted, and harmful effects of polluted air, ways to reduce air pollution. Do you know what is air? Air is a tasteless, odorless mixture of different gases that is primarily made up of oxygen and nitrogen. The earth is surrounded by a thick layer of air called atmosphere. Children, let's do an experiment. Take a paper and make a handmade fan. Just fold the paper like zigzag pattern and then open it. Your handmade fan is ready. Now fan yourself. Do you feel something cool? Yes. This is air. So air is present all around us. Can you see air? No. We cannot see, touch or taste air. But we can feel air when it moves. So moving air is called wind. When wind moves gently, we call it a breeze. When wind moves very strongly and quickly, we call it a storm or a gale. Next, what does air contain or different components of air? Air contains many gases such as oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, tiny dust particles, smoke and water vapors. So these are all different components of air. Properties of air. Air occupies space. Take a small flat and deflated balloon. Then blow air into the balloon. It grows in size that shows air occupies space. Air has weight. Take two balloons with full of air. Now they are the same in weight. But then make a hole in one balloon. And notice what happens. The air slowly flows out of the balloon and it becomes lighter than the other balloon. Which proves that air has weight. Next, air exerts pressure. Look at the diagram very carefully. To do this experiment, you need a ping pong ball and a funnel. Step 1. Put a ping pong ball inside the wide part of a funnel. Step 2. Blow hard into the narrow end of the funnel. Step 3. You will notice that the ball doesn't pop out of the funnel. This is because as you blow into the funnel, the air moves faster. But fast moving air exerts less pressure on the surface that passes over the ball. On other side, the normal air pressure of the room is higher. So it forces the ball down. Thus, it is proved air exerts pressure. Next, air cannot be seen but can be felt. Air is everywhere. 
but we cannot see we can feel when it moves for example switch on the fan and feel cool air so we cannot see or touch but we can feel air next clear air has no color no shape no taste or smell uses of air air is very useful for us such as all living things need air to survive yes we need air to breathe everyone take a deep breath then exhale so we breathe through our noses air is essential for all living things we cannot live without air number 2 air is used to fill balloons balls and tires number 3 air is used to burn a fire number 4 air helps to move fans of a windmill which generates electricity number 5 helicopter gliders aeroplane need air to fly air helps in flying kites air is used to dry clothes children do you know air is present in soil and water also fish take air from water with the help of its gills next air pollution what is air pollution and what are the causes of air pollution air is polluted when it becomes dirty air gets polluted when gases dust particles smoke and bad odors are mixed into air things that pollute air are called pollutants such as smoke odor dust and gases there are many causes of air pollution number 1 air becomes polluted due to smoke and dust the smoke and dust come from factories pollute the air number 2 smoke exhaust from motorcycle car truck bus and train pollute the air these vehicles burn fuel and release harmful gases this is one of the main cause of air pollution number 3 natural causes such as burning wood and garbage pollute the air harmful effects of polluted air we fall sick when we breathe polluted air Some common problems due to polluted air are cough, throat infection, asthma, nose block and eye irritation. So how to reduce air pollution? There are few ways to reduce air pollution. Number 1, we should use public transport rather than personal cars and bikes. Number 2 we get electricity by burning coal so we should use electricity wisely Number 3 reuse things so that no new waste is generated Number 4 use natural sources of energy such as solar energy and wind energy these are pollution free sources of energy Number 5 we should grow plants and trees in and around our houses plants make the air fresh and clean by taking carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen now let's move on to the recapitulation air is present everywhere moving air is called wind All living things need air to live. 
Fresh air is very good for our health. We should plant trees to keep the air clean. Now it's time to do an activity. Color the pictures in which air is being polluted. Look at the first picture. A man is smoking. We know that air becomes polluted due to smoke and dust. So this is a cause of air pollution. So color the picture. Now look at the next picture. A girl is watering plant. This is very good for environment. We should plant trees to keep the air clean. So we will not color this picture. Now next picture. Burning wood and garbage also pollute the air. So we need to color this picture. Now look at the last picture. A car is releasing harmful smoke and gases which is one of the main cause of air pollution. So we need to color this picture. So children, these are all different causes of air pollution. So that's all for today. Hope you had a great time with me and gathered many important information about air. So if you like the video, then please share, like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching video. Bye-bye.